Welcome back. You're watching Lux Interiors with me, Devika Gupta. Minimalism does not mean you can't use color in your home. Like they say, different strokes for different folks. Let's join architect and interior designer Santa Matu and see how she uses color in her designs. Santa Matu of Planet 3 Studios has to her credit a variety of works. Throughout her residential, commercial and educational projects, the design philosophy is to build keeping it fresh, witty and contextually relevant. And of course, there is the use of colour like in her most recent project, this luxury villa from the gated community called Seven in Lonavla. For the city dwellers from Mumbai or Pune, for whom this would be a potential second home, the feeling of luxury has been created through ample open spaces and good amount of light and ventilation, something that we paid close attention to while designing. Most of the rooms open onto the outdoors. The dining room, for instance, opens onto this lovely pool area. The living room has windows on three sides, all opening onto the outdoors and getting a great amount of natural light. These windows get in so much natural light that there is very little that you would really want to do with the decor of this room. All that we have done is added this lovely lime green colour to the room to instantly perk it up. As a designer, I would suggest that if you have a room that has ample light pouring into it, do not bother with adding too much colour or anything. Just one dash of colour or one element of colour is sufficient to really liven up the room. If there is colour in the living room, there is bound to be colour in the rest of the house. From the hangout zone of the house to the bedroom and the deck of the villa. So here we are, the ultimate destination of this villa. Call it the lounge, call it the den or the party zone. This place really comes to life after sundown. You can see the furniture pieces, they have been collected from all over. Just keeping one thing in mind, to give this place a very decadent feel. This lounge opens onto the terrace with a great view behind. The terrace provides a good extension for your party zone. It's also a great place to have your morning cup of tea or an evening glass of wine with the family. A small tip if you're thinking of doing your outdoor space is to look for furniture which is easy to maintain to keep your life simple. So we carry forward the bling factor into this guest bedroom. The mirrors that you see here was designed created for this room. These lights which remain a favourite of mine to this date add just the right touch of bling to this room without going over the top. Every designer has a favourite zone in the house and considering this was meant to be a home away from home, it's no surprise that for her it is the deck with the jacuzzi in it. When it comes to building a home, Santa Matu's advice is personalizing the space. A luxury to us is not about a collection of branded or labeled pieces of furniture that you have picked up from your travels. But it is more about quality, it's more about exclusivity and it's also about personalizing your space as per your likes or your dislikes. For example, in 7, we have created the display wall right in the dining area, which is ready to take your photographs, interesting sculptures that you have collected. It personalizes the space, it shows your individuality, it shows your taste and of course it definitely livens up the space. So how do you create a home that is spacious and allows for light and nature to filter in such that less becomes more? So while designing this villa, we were very sure that we wanted to give the end user ample amount of light and ventilation and a great feeling of space. We tried to do that by using a hybrid steel construction. We pulled out the columns away from the facade of the building and pulled it right near the pool area. This gives us a huge facade providing unhindered views of the outside. This gives a feeling of allowing nature to come inside the living spaces. It allows ample amount of natural light to spill into our living spaces. Each and every room ends up getting enough natural light and ventilation. And here's a small tip for anybody who's thinking of venturing into the uncharted and scary waters of actual building construction. Please do try and look into steel construction instead of the normal conventional RCC construction. Not only does it make the structure look lighter, it also provides you larger window spans which open onto the outside and provide you fantastic views if you have.